six Oscar nominations, including Best Picture in 2021. That sounds like, what does that sound like? Duh, that sounds like The Sound of Metal, directed by Darius Martyr. The film is about a heavy metal drummer whose life is turned upside down when he loses his hearing and is told to avoid loud noises. Let's get some reactions to this moving story about music and one's love for it. You sound great. Yeah, right. What? You tell me you weren't feeling it? You were in it. We don't, need to, we don't need to put them all out. I know, but we just need to film. Your hearing is deteriorating rapidly. We'll come back. Till then, Lou, we just keep going, okay? No. Lou, no. let's play them all. Let's see what it's like, okay? I'm gonna be like a click track. You can play to me. Sound of Metal, what did you guys think of Riz Ahmed's performance as Ruben? This was his first Oscar nomination, and do you think it was well-deserved? Very, very well-deserved. Such a terrific performance, really. I, I, I don't even think there was a bad performance in this movie or like one that's lesser than the other. Really, just as, as an ensemble, um, every performance, even going to like um, one of the kids in the class, just they were all fantastic but Riz Ahmed really um you could see that he did a, a, a lot of research and I'm sure that if I looked into his performance it, it would say what he specifically did but you can tell that he um as an able-bodied actor did the most he could to try to um uh put the uh deaf experience on screen his performance was fantastic uh I Really, there wasn't a single moment where I was like, I could have been done better. Like everything was like literally perfect. He conveyed emotions just through the smallest details of his face, like towards the very end. It's an absolutely beautiful performance and it's absolutely stunning. And uh, I hope he keeps making more stuff like this and I keep, he, he keeps acting like this because this is like really amazing. Yeah, going off of what John said, I feel like um, it was a really subtle performance in the best way possible. Like um, his performance was great, but there were parts where like he wasn't even saying anything and yet you could really see the emotion that he was feeling. And I feel like, you know, that is such a hard thing uh, sometimes to do when you're acting is to like portray an emotion when you're not even saying anything. And especially in such a subtle way, but he did such a great job of doing that. And he really brought his character to life. He felt so real and he felt like someone you might know. And I just thought he did a really great job of giving us emotion in all parts of the movie. It was really great. So he spent six months learning how to play the drums for this role. Was his drumming believable to all of you? Yeah, uh, it was It was definitely very believable. I My main type of music, it's, it's not metal, it's rock music though, but like that's why I'm more like the classic T. So like obviously like I've seen been the rock concerts where they play drums and stuff like that. And it was definitely very believable. And it gave me a lot of like whiplash vibes. Like you're like, oh yeah, like this dude actually like learned how to play the drums. And I can definitely see, got that vibe from uh, him. Yeah, it's a little bit surprising because I feel like there wasn't that much drumming in the movie. Like there was only a couple of scenes where he was like, really going at it, you know? And then most of it was just about his other experiences. So I'm surprised that he put in that much work for, you know, such a small amount of scenes rather than just like learning how to drum, you know, just like for a little bit. So I feel like, um, yeah, I thought that's really impressive and it seemed believable to me. Um, you know, I'm not a drummer. So like, uh, you know, it was really believable. So what did you all think of the sound editing and how we're exposed to what Ruben hears? I thought it was so good. I had a lot of anxiety throughout the entire movie. And I think part of it was that I felt like I couldn't hear anything because it is so, it does such a great job at like immersing you into like this character and like, you just don't hear anything, you know? And then they don't overdo it because you hear some parts. But I just felt like this is crazy how your life can change in one second. And you just have to adapt to this completely different reality. I think it's some of the best um, sound mixing and editing I think I've ever heard, really. Like, it's 
it's always really impressive and it's always very understated uh, when the sound is fantastic. This this movie, it's definitely one that needed sound, but um, there's so many that I think every movie needs good sounds. Sometimes you don't even realize it, but um, so much goes into it. And this has just incredible, incredible um, design. It's It really, uh, like Catalina said, just throws you in with this character. I think it's definitely gonna win best sound um, and it, it deserves that for sure. So how did you react when Ruben smashed the equipment in the RV? Do you think Lou made the right call leaving and making Ruben stay at the rural shelter for the deaf community? I mean, she had to, right? Like she couldn't stay. But like the whole time, like when she was leaving, I was like, when is she gonna come back? Like she's not coming back. Like the whole time, the whole movie, I was like, what is their relationship? Like, is it over? Like. I mean, I feel like she had to leave there because, you know, him being an addict, there wasn't really many options, but it was definitely conflicting. I think the only way uh, uh, that he was going to get better is if she left. And I'm not sure if that's like an awful thing to say, but uh, I think really, I think she was right just kind of letting him do his thing. He kind of needed to be on his own and be with the community of people to help him improve. So I definitely think that she made the right. I kind of disagree, but hear me out. I just, I was just really shocked how fast she left. Um, like, I'm just leaving, I'm getting my bag, the car is outside, bye. You know, like, and that to me was like, okay, this person, like, I, I wanted her to stay to support him until he was able to go to that place and make sure that he gets there too, because she left and she said, promise, but how much can you rely on a person that's going through such a big crisis like that? So I wouldn't have left, personally, I wouldn't have left until I would have put him in there, made sure that he's okay, and then I would have left. So what did you think about the relationship between Ruben and Joe? Um, I really liked the relationship between, I'm sorry, was his name Joe? Is that what you said? Um, I liked the relationship. My favorite movie is Goodwill Hunting and it reminded me a lot of the Sean and Will dynamic from Goodwill Hunting. And I also really liked that Joe, when he kind of kicked him out at the end, because it shows that he has such a strong like moral code, you know, like he wasn't willing to just give that up and give up the well-being of everybody just for one person. Like, I know it was a really hard decision and it was really harsh to watch him have to say that, but you could really tell that it hurt him too. But I just appreciate, like, you can tell that this character really means well for everybody. And I thought that was a really great moment. Yeah, I think if there wasn't like that him there as such like a stable force, then it would have been easier to empathize with Ruben because Joe's like, man, I, I lost my hearing in the war. And as soon as he says that, you're like, well, this guy, Ruben can't complain anymore. Like this guy probably has PTSD. Like we have no idea, like his idea of if Joe has a family or anything like that. So I think it was really important, like establishing how much you empathize with Ruben. So Ruben takes his implants out, just rips them out, silence. How did it make you feel? Did it? Did the ending feel earned to you? The ending was beautiful. The ending was awesome. It was so, so earned. It was great. That, it has to be one of the best endings I've ever seen. It's amazing. I really liked it. And I, the sound design, when, it's, when he's just sitting there and the church bells are going off, and then he just takes out those implants and you just see the silence. Oh, it is so good. It is terrific. And I just love how he just sits there and just taken in that moment where, where earlier in the film, Joe was like saying, just sit there. And then he just sits there and takes in this beauty. I'm like, yes, <laughs> I thought it was so great. I loved it. Yeah, it all felt really cohesive. Definitely felt earned for me because the whole time, you know, I'm just like, man, is it even worth it? Is the hearing worth it? But like his drum career, but his girlfriend. And then like the scene where he gets the implants, you're like, man, ah, that's what he paid for. Like man's got ripped off. And then like the dinner scene, I'm like, oh man, like he looks like he's fine. And then you hear it and you're like, oh no, this is not, it's all falling apart. And then at the end, you're like, it had to happen. Finally moved on. Perfect. There's, it's hard to pick out a part of this movie because it all just works together so well. It's one of my favorite movies I've seen in a long time. I love the ending, um, but to me it was different because it didn't leave me wanting more, but it left me with an immense sensation of peace because I went through the whole journey with him. <laughs> I really felt like I did and I and I loved it. And towards the end, I was just like, when he looks up at the sun and he doesn't, he said he doesn't believe in God, but light brings you a sensation of, of peace always. And I don't know, at, right at the beginning, I felt like oh, it's over, 
But I was okay with that because I feel like it couldn't have been an, a better ending. So do you all think the movie offered an authentic look at the deaf community? They used real act or uh, real um, people for the the show the movie, so they were real deaf people. So it was pretty Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I think that like um it would be hard for me to authenticate um an experience that I don't have. Uh it would it like um but from from what like from what I've seen and heard and um I I think that it really does have a, a, a really authentic um, portrayal um, of being deaf. But I, yeah, I, again, I feel like, um, like as someone who doesn't have uh, hearing problems, I can't exactly offer like this is exactly what it's like. And I think it'd be really interesting to hear um, what um, people who are deaf feel about the movie. I thought they they showed it in a very beautiful way and a very unique way because I, I mean, again, I cannot speak to that experience, but I feel like in in movies, generally, like you see them portrayed in a negative way. You see people with disabilities portrayed as sad and depressed and never be able to be happy again. And in this movie, like I was shocked because, shocked in a good way, because you see all these children like you see them happy and you see them enjoying the vibrations of the piano and you see this teacher like super happy to be in class teaching him everything helping him so i thought it portrayed in a very beautiful way and how you can still be happy you can still try to be happy and find the happiness in in whatever happens to you anyway so i thought it was still such a beautiful way of portraying it and okay final question please. Let's take a poll. How many of you want to learn how to play the drums after watching this movie? I don't want to brag or anything, but uh, I used to play the drums uh, for Lego Rock Band on the Wii. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of adept in it. Uh, Riz Ahmed might, he might be a little bit better than me, but like, I don't want to, like, I'm, I'm pretty talented. So like, I'm maybe. I have always wanted to play the drums. I remember asking my dad, can I play the drums growing up? And he said, no, pick a real instrument. <laughs> Um, and I don't think showing him this movie, he would change his mind. Uh, showing me, when I saw Whiplash, I was like, you know what, maybe it's a good thing I didn't learn the drums. Well, with that, thank you all so much for coming and talking about Sound of Metal. We'll see you all next week. I found a place. I think it's important that you stay here with us right now, Ruben. We're looking for a solution to, to this. Not this. I need you to wait for me, okay? You're it for me, Lou, you're my bar, you're it for me. Okay, you gotta wait for me. Well, The Sound of Metal may have some big competition at the Oscars this year, but it definitely got some noteworthy reactions from our cast. The film is a favorite among many critics and audience members, so fingers crossed for one of those nominations to turn into a win. Now, I'm gonna go practice my drumming skills. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of Real Reactions. Although our reactions may be a little ridiculous and a little bit racy, they're always real. Ba-doom-tsh.